technology. Oh, hi! Oh, didn't see you there. Anyways, today we're going to build a homemade model submarine. So the materials that we're going to need today are a bottle, a thin plastic tube, a cutter, but if you don't have one, you can just use a scissor. Some rocks, a glue gun, but if you don't have one, you can just use some tape, and a body of water. So first, you want to cut three holes on the side of the bottle. Cut another small hole near the top, which is the same size as the tube, on the other side. Insert the tube and tape it. Get your rocks and tape it beside the three holes. And you're done! Yep, it's that simple. So let's test it out and let's find out what actually is happening. Okay, let's fill this up first. Okay, so when you hold the end of the tube, the submarine won't move. If you release the tube and suck on the air, it will sink. And if you blow on the tube, the submarine will rise. So what's happening here? When you submerge something underwater, there are two forces in play. First is the gravitational force pushing downwards, but there is also an upward force caused by the water. These two forces are always fighting to see who wins. If the gravity wins, then the object will sink. It is also known as negative buoyancy. If it loses, the object floats, also known as positive buoyancy. And if they're tight, then the object will just stay there floating. Not going up or not going down, also known as neutral buoyancy. Archimedes' principle states that the upward buoyant force that is exerted on a body immersed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. So if we control the amount of water that's displaced, we can control the buoyancy. We did that by changing the amount of pressure inside the bottle. Blowing air makes the pressure inside the bottle higher, pushing the water out. And sucking on the air makes the pressure lower, letting water in. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.